What's up, everybody? I'm sitting here reflecting on the past few weeks. If you follow me on social media, you know my, my grandfather passed away November 10th. Last time I saw him, I got to talk to him was January of this year. and um, Got to have some really great discussions with him. Got to really see him for what I didn't remember necessarily as a, as a child, but um, saw him smile, saw, had, had great uh, faith-based conversations with him, gospel conversations. And you know, while we were in Wisconsin, I, I saw a lot of things. I saw snow. It is snowing. This is foolishness. Now, if you know me, you know I do not like snow. I don't like cold weather. I don't like snow. Can't stand it. But it snowed the first day we got there in Wisconsin. It snowed the last day we were there in Wisconsin. The day we were, we were going to leave. Got to see more of Chicago than I wanted. Uh, even though it was just the airport and driving from the airport into Wisconsin, I saw far more of Chicago than I ever really want to see. Um, not a fan of Chicago. I'm sorry if any of you live in Chicago. I'm not a fan of Chicago, okay? I'm sorry. I, just, I saw more Chicago than I want to see. I saw the airport. I'm good. I got to see my, my, my family, my cousins, my dad's side of the family uh, in Wisconsin. Um, some of them I haven't seen Oh, shoot, since I graduated high school uh, a little over 20 years ago. So it was awesome seeing them. As, as, as wild and crazy as, as they are, it was so awesome seeing my family, seeing my cousins. Two of my cousins' sons play on the same high school football team. And while we were there, we got to see uh, them play in a state championship football game. That was exciting because I see all these posts on Facebook and how good they're they're doing in, fo in football and 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 their lives in football. But it was so awesome because I got we got to see <laughs> we got to see that in person. They didn't win the game, but they played hard. Uh, both my cousins' sons they they played really well. They played hard, and and the cool thing about it is to go see them. We got to see. Uh, University of Wisconsin. We are on the campus of University of Wisconsin. We are walking into Camp Randall Stadium. Uh, we got to see Camp Randall Stadium uh, where they played the, the football game. We got to go to and, and see the greatest bakery in the land, in the nation. Uh, it's called ONH Bakery. Uh, it's an ONH Danish bakery. So if you are Danish, as I am, if you <clears throat> um, like Kringle, if you, you know, you might see this stuff, they seasonal, uh, you see Kringle in, in Trader Joe's, uh, but ONH is like where it's at. It's where it's at when you're um, when you're Danish or when you're in Racine. You have to go to O H Bakery. <clears throat> you know, then at my grandpa's uh, funeral, saw a lot of people who who looked up to my grandpa. I saw, you know, as a as a dad, as a grandpa, as a great grandpa, as a former Marine, as a retired police officer. My grandpa touched a lot of lives. He touched a lot of lives. You can't help but touch a lot of lives when you're uh, a Marine and a retired police officer. He affected a lot of people through his life. I got to see 
pictures of him when he was younger, some that I've never seen before. Looked so suave and so dapper and so good. He was a cool guy. You know what? He loved Jesus. He loved Jesus Christ. My grandfather made a difference in this world through his, his service to his country, through his service to his community, through his service to his family. But most of all, the biggest difference that was made was Christ and him. That was one of the conversations I had with him when I saw him in January. I got to ask him, Grandpa, if someone asked you who Jesus Christ is to you, what would you say? He looked at me dead in the eye. He said, he's my savior. Man, it just brought so much joy to my soul, so much joy to my heart to hear my grandpa say that Jesus Christ is his savior. You know, the, the biggest thing, uh, the biggest thing that I got to see while, while we were in Wisconsin is the gospel changing lives. I got to see that when the gospel is shared, people are comforted, people are convicted, and people are changed. People are changed in some, some way. It may not always be for the better. They may not experience life transformation and become followers of Christ right then and right there, but their life is changed. They either had a hardening of heart or a softening of heart. They either now know the gospel, now know the truth, and now uh, there's no excuse for them. And honestly, if you think about it, this isn't a surprise to those who, who preach and teach the gospel of Jesus Christ on a regular basis. But, you know, it's always, it's always so humbling to see. It's so humbling to be a part of when you're able to preach the, the gospel to, to a room filled of your love, with your loved ones who may or may not know Christ and their friends who may or may not know Christ, but they heard the gospel and the gospel changes lives. I got to see it that day. I got to see it in Wisconsin. I got to be a part of it. I wonder... Have you heard the gospel of Jesus Christ? Have you heard that, that Jesus came and lived a sinless life, died a sinful death, that he was sent by God the Father to die for our sins, and that on the third day after he died, he, he rose from the grave, stepped out of that grave in victory to give us hope, to give us victory? Just because God loves us and desires a relationship with us. And all you have to do is put your faith in Jesus Christ and believe that he is the son of God and that he truly did die for your sins to have eternal life to live with the Father. How has your life been changed by the gospel? I'd love to hear comments down below. Please comment below about how your life has been changed by the gospel. I love to celebrate these things uh, with, with you guys. I love to hear your stories and, and what God is doing. Please put them in the, in the comments below. And hey, just a quick reminder, hit that subscription button to subscribe to more uh, videos like this, more videos that we do. Hit that bell icon so you can uh, hit, be notified when we drop another video. But let me know. Have you heard the gospel and how has the gospel affected and changed your life? Love you. Out.